Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now our topic today is how to add a watermark or your logo or your signature onto an image, all right? And in doing this, it's gonna touch base on one of the new features in Luminar AI Update 2, and that's with our local masking. The texture now allows us to add pings, PNG files, which have a um, transparent background. It also allows us to scale, rotate, and move, um, whether it's a JPEG or a ping uh, texture on top of the layer, it enables, it enables us to move it around so we can position it just right. All right, let's get started. All right, one moment. So here I have my, my image of the beautiful Ashley. And hello everyone, glad to see you. Hey Robert Oswego, I'm from Syracuse, New York. All right, so here we are with the beautiful Ashley. Now I'm gonna come over here, and this image has already been, pro been processed, so all that's left is me adding my watermark to it. So I'll come over here, click on add, and what's really cool about this is we can add or stack them on top of each other. So I'll load. Now, let's come over here to my C drive and under my photography, I like to keep an assets folder. In the assets folder is where I keep a lot of additional tools I like to use. And one of them, of course, is my signature. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this with two ways of doing it. One is with a transparent ping and then another one is going to be with um, being able to overlay uh, your, your logo if it were on a white background or on a black background. So let me come back over here. That one there was strictly on a white background. So let me find my signatures. Uh, photography. And I bet you, here we go, signature. All right, so you can see what I'm talking about. These are all JPEGs, all right? So you know what, that's what I'll do. I'll show you the JPEG first. I know I want my image, because of the image we're choosing, I want the white um, logo, but notice I have this on a black background. So let me start with that one first. Now, once I put it on, look how huge it is. So that's something that I'm going to work on later, making that smaller. But look how big this thing is. So what I'm going to do is position it into place, grab from the, from the corners, because if you drag from the corners, it keeps it proportional. I could drag from the sides, but then it's not going to keep it proportional. So here we are. What about that right there? And then I press enter to lock it into place. Now, right here, the opacity. Right now it's set, it was in the middle. I'm gonna set it to 100% opacity. And notice I have that ugly black box behind it because this wasn't a transparent ping. This was my typical logo, it's a JPEG black with white letters. Here's how we're gonna fix it. We'll come over here to the advanced settings. From the blend mode, we'll change from normal. And then we'll just start going down through the list. Dark's not gonna do it. Light in there, look at there. Uh, now, we're on, now we're getting there. So notice the very first word in this set, that's what's gonna, um, that first word darken means the ones in that set is part of the darkening tools. Lighten, the overlays here are gonna lighten the images. Now notice what overlay is gonna do, or I'm sorry, soft light. So now we're out of where we wanna be, so screen is it. So I click on screen. I can increase the contrast if I want. If I wanna increase the brightness of it, I can bring that in. The opacity is set at 100. You could fade it if you want have that faded look inside of it. Well, that's up to you, but notice 
when I fade it, I'm going to get some of that square back. So I like to keep it at 100%. So do you see how we did that? Because I want my white logo, the white logo is on the black background. If this right here, let's see the next image we pick under catalog. I want to choose another image. Um, let's do. All right, let's do this portrait here. All right, and I'm going to do a real quick edit to it. So with this portrait here, now what I want is my black signature on top of on top of this portrait. So I'm going to come over here to templates. Let's see if I have if I made my template here. Uh, that was texture overlay. I'm not sure if that's the one I used. If not, no big deal. I'll show you how I did it from scratch. Yep, that's not the one I used. Let's use teal and orange. All right, I'm going to use that one real quick. All right, here we are again, local masking, texture. And what I want to do is come over here, load a texture. And by the way, Rich Harrington, if you're part of AI Insiders, just uploaded like 1.5 gigs of um, overlays you could use. So you guys could check that out. So under here, templates, I'm sorry, not templates, textures. And here's my painterly one that I did. I'm just gonna do it real quick. Put it to 100%, change the layer blend mode, let's say to soft light, okay, there we go. And then I wanna paint out, yeah, maybe 40%, some of it on her face here, especially her eyes, there we go, All right there. All right, there we go. And I'm sorry guys, I know we're doing the texture overlay, let me just fix one thing real quick because it's going to bug me, and that's her eye. Um, yes, a, uh, Wendy has two, a blue eye and a green eye, and I'm so used to seeing her eyes green. Let me bring that in real quick. There we go. And put a little flare in it. All right. Sorry, that was a perfectionist in me. All right, so now there's my overlay. So I have it all set. And in a short time, I mean, that was pretty cool that I was able to do that. So now what I need to do is add another texture. Load the texture. And do you remember we had it under signatures? There we are. So now I want white on black. There it is. And as you guessed it, we'll place it. Bring it down a little bit. A lot of it. A little more. Right there. That's good. And then now, at 100% opacity, white. So we're going to come over here and change the layer blend mode. So if, if last time we did lighten, darken should be, or multiply should do the trick. And here it is. Multiply. I'm going to move it. Here we will put it over here. Multiply it. And I'm going to enrich... Instead of making it brighter, let's make it darker. And there we have it. And place texture. There we go. All right. But, oh, let me get out of my way. I'm so sorry. So there we have it. Now, I'm going to show you my paint version. But before I do, let me pull this up real quick. Hello, everyone. Great to see you. Let me just start from the very beginning up here. All right, Robert from Oswego. Yep, I'm from Syracuse, our good old snowbelt. 
Uh, let's come down a little bit. Hello, Julie. Hello, Dre. All right. Hello, Kevin. All right, so Kevin says, what's the easiest way to make a transparent ping? Honestly, the, the, the you have to have a graphics program to create a transparent ping. You have to make, you have to have a program that's specifically designed for graphics, Photoshop, um, GIMP, or some of the other Photoshop knockoffs. If you could take that background and make it transparent, you can save it as a PNG. Now, I know we can save PNGs as our um, file format, but it's not the same because that PNG, even though it is a PNG, it's not a transparent background because remember, Luminar is not a graphics program, all right? So, let me go back here again. Oh, perfect. So, I, Gord said, can you add your name or company name to the metadata as well? As of right now, no, we can't. So, as of now, you can't add it. There are other, are other third-party um, uh, plug or third-party software that, that does all that stuff for you. Um, you could do that, or if you are a Lightroom user, you could add all that in Lightroom and use this as a plugin for that. All right. Let me jump back in. Hello, Mr. Moon Pie. All right, now let me come back and I want to reset this. Let's load another texture. Now let's cross your cross our fingers. That I remember where I saved my texture, or not texture, my signatures. So let's see, maybe I put it under Google. Oh, I know exactly where I put it. Videli Bio. Here we go. And there we are. Whew. So there's that PNG. So there's a black PNG and a white PNG. Let's do the white one this time. Now watch how much easier it is. So it's coming in. And by the way, if you wonder, you know, hey, what's Luminar doing? Look up in here. And if you start to see Luminar, Luminar blue rotating, glowing, it means it's thinking. So here's my signature. And I want to place it. Here it is, enter, change the opacity to 100%, 100%, and there I have it, all right? Let me do it one more time, place the texture again. I'm sorry, uh, load the texture. This time, let's load the black PNG. And once it comes in, we'll be able to move it and place it. So here it comes. So what you should really be excited, there it is. All right, what you should be really excited on is a couple things. One, we can add multiple um, textures and the basic to local masking. We can add as many as we want onto this. So now I'm sorry, we can add 10 of them um, onto this so you're, what you're doing is you're overlaying them on top of each other. Now in this case here, it was black. So for the brightness, let's make it a little bit blacker and we're set. Now did you notice something? When I added a new texture to this, when I replaced it, it automatically scaled it to what the, the, the texture was that I had on the page. So once you get your texture in position, you can go back and replace it and it'll come back and it'll remember what position you had it in and what size you had. All right? So there we have it. Let's check see if we have any other questions. Um, yes, okay, so Julie says she, she made her signature to Adobe Essentials as JPEGs and then she can add them to her photos like we just did. However, since you do have Photoshop Essentials, 
what you can do at that point is keep the one layer uh, blank, the bottom layer, and then you'll see the checkerboard pattern, and that's your blank transparency. So then you can save it as a PNG, and then boom, um, you'll have your transparent background. All right? There we have it, guys. Now, Rich Harrington, just before the show, gave me some exciting news. And Kevin, I'll be calling on you for a lot of this too. Coming up on Tuesday. Let me see what date that is. So Tuesday the 23rd. We're going to do a marathon again in depth. We're going to do an in depth um, webinars all day long. <laughs> Starting at like 7 a.m. straight through to like 9 p.m. We'll end it. We'll start at 7 a.m. end at 9 p.m. And it's going to be an all day event where we're going to do some killer, killer tutorials, tips, tricks. We'll have a special guest on. I'm going to count on Kevin. Angela, Cabasi, uh, a lot of my old friends, Kelby. I'm going to try to get some of those guys to come on, pick a time slot, and it's going to be like a, a marathon. And it's going to be incredible. Rich Harrington has a bunch of the time slots. I have the other ones. So you can join us again next Tuesday, next Tuesday which I'm so sorry. I did it again. It's the 20, 23rd. So next Tuesday, the 23rd. And also, remember now, if you're a Luminar AI member, you also have access to insiders.skylum.com. So you have access at that special um, group that we have. Over there, there's thousands, tens of thousands of members. It's the, how do I put it? It's the fun version like Facebook without all the political garbage, without all the hate. It's a group of us like-minded people working and networking together. That's the key there. Networking, collaborating with each other. Check it out. It's again, insiders.skylum.com. All right? Well, guys, hey, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you at the next coffee break.